Hello guys, this is Tim here. Uh, I'm creating a, a quick video so you guys can connect, you can download the firmware to the VEX microcontroller and uh, our objective is to control the speeds of two motors. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is get your battery connected to your VEX Cortex um, and then I have two motors here. I'm using uh, our standard motor, I'm connecting it, connecting it through a motor controller and I have them connected into ports 2 and 3. Now make sure you have it connected to the motor section and then I have a type A to type A um, USB cable. Okay, so um, on your computers we have a pro program called Robot C. Now I'm going to see if I can find it here. Um, innovation first. No, that's not it. Robot C, here we go. And I'm going to click on that. And let's see what comes up. Here we go. So your your VEX Cortex is connected. What I want to do now is download the firmware. So the existing firmware on it is a VEX firmware, but what we need is the Robot C firmware. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Robot. You're going to click on Download Firmware, and then I want you to click on Automatically Update VEX Cortex. What does it say? It says, this utility will automatically detect your VEX Cortex and update it to the latest firmware versions. If you don't do this and you try to download code or C to your microcontroller, it's not going to do a damn thing. So before you proceed, make sure your VEX Cortex is connected via a USB 8A cable to your computer. Now we've done that, so let's go OK. It says, master C, OK, writing robot C firmware, so it's downloading it. So hopefully this works for you guys. Robot C download was completed successfully. Okay, so now we have the firmware on our, our VEX um, microcontroller. What I'm going to do is we're going to create a program. So go to File, New, New File. All right, now, this is, uh, we're working in Robot C now, okay? so. The first line it says task main and then it has an open and close brackets and then we have two open and close curly brackets. I'm going to probably explain that later. I might not though. But anyway, so let's go into robot and go to motors and sensor setup. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on motors and I'm going to call this left motor and then I'm going to call it now. See, I know I have motors in port 2 and 3, so why am I doing that? Why am I, I need to put this in port 2, and now I'm going to put one in port 3. And I'm going to call that right motor. And then I'm going to click on this, and this is a 3-wire motor. Okay, and then a 3-wire motor. I want to ensure that these guys can be reversed. Okay, if you don't check that, your motors only turn in one direction. So, uh, type in the name of your motor in whatever port you're using. If you have motors connected in ports 5 and 6, you would put it in port 5 and 6 here. You change it to the type, we're using a 3 wire motor, and you make sure that you leave it reversed. And let's go apply, and then go OK. Now look at this. It says the code automatically generated by a robot C. So what it does is it's creating, um, what would you call this? Maybe two constants. So this is basically uh, telling robot C that you have two motors set up in ports 2 and 3. Okay, so you need to put this in. Now, what will we do? We're going to open up motors, variables, and I can drag this out. All right. Now, I haven't done this in a while, so I can't even remember. So let's go to help, and let's type in motor, index, and let's type in the motor command and see what comes up. All right. Okay, motor port 1 is equal to 127. What this does, it's, it's, it's going to turn in a clockwise direction of power level 127. Now, let's have a look here. It says for, for 127 is the maximum amount of power. Uh, if we make it 50, it's going to be half that power. If we make it minus 127, it's going to reverse it at full power. Okay, so we can, you'll figure out what speed works. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to I'm going to highlight this. 
and I'm going to press Control C. I'm going to close this down and put this in. And this is port one. I'm going to make this port two and see does that work? And I'm going to make this port three. Now, if I save this program, I'm going to save it and we call this. Let's save it to the desktop real quick. I'm going to call this Tim's program. All right. I'm going to go OK. Now, if I run this, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to download it to the, to the controller first. So let's do that. I'm going to go to Robot, Compile, and Download Program. All right. And it's telling me, it's after downloading it, and it's telling me that the main battery is not powered on. So OK, I'll turn it on then. And I'll go OK. And I'm going to start this. And it does nothing. Okay? Now why does it, it does it does nothing because the program runs, it turns the motors on for a, a millisecond, and then it, the program ends and it's done. So what we need to do here is add some sort of timing command. So we're gonna wait for we're gonna turn these on and wait for a couple of seconds. Wait one millisecond. Now if I make this two thousand milliseconds, my motor should run for two seconds and then they should turn off. So let's save it. And let's compile and download it and let's see what happens. I'm going to press start. And my motors are actually running and now they're starts. I, I don't know, you probably can't see that, uh, but hopefully you can hear it. They run for two seconds, I'm going to do it again. And this stop. Okay? Now, I think that's enough information for you. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to finish the video and you guys are going to see if you can follow along and do it yourselves. Okay, good luck.